Exactly, yes. So we'll just <laughs> find some enemies in the world. Third one. Oh, well, there we go. It's not too hard to find some orcs in mortal. Um, it's a combination. Start with okay, so this is already built. Sorry, I will come back. To but so not only built up to the level one of the execution, but if you notice now there's two colors on the mic bar that's filling up to the orange and then filling uh, with the red. And so you can now do higher level executions as well. So you can do brutality or stronger executions. So that's another feature we've added as well. Nice. Um, so you start with most of the base skills that you built, that you had from the first game. Uh -huh. Some other skills we've added that you automatically get from the beginning. So some of our movement skills are like printing. Um, some of the other skills associated, which you had by the end game, so of the domination, when you lose the one ring, you lose those. So you have to reacquire the ring to get those right. back. But then once you do get them back, they're more powerful than they were before. So we really wanted that same, in some ways, representing what happens in Shadow of Mordor, that first, we're introducing the combat and, and that element of the gameplay, and then we're introducing the elements of the manipulation, the domination, and the forging your army. Because it's really important that we add new skills and new abilities and enhance the game for people that like Shadow of Mordor, but also that this is a sort of even a bigger blockbuster version of the game. So if you didn't play Shadow of Mordor, this is a great place to start and join right. as well. So that's. Um, quickly do some audio fixes, but please continue talking because that's a good way to move here. So that was cool. So this is our, our most basic and fundamental skill in combat, which is uh, our execution. Uh, the fact that as you get deeper in the game and you get that upgrade, you can start using those executions more frequently. And it's not just the executions, it's also your AOE attack, also your ability to brand or dominate guys with those combat moves, so there's a, a lot of different features that come off that. And that's, of course, the severing from the limbs flying there. That's new as well, which is nice. So, all right, next. Yeah, we're still having a little static. Let's see. Are we still, are we still having some static? Or is it maybe a short the wiring? We are all static. Let's see. It's just static. I have an idea. Um, so hopefully we managed to communicate something about executions there. Is that the bees? Not the bees! <laughs> it's the bees. The elder has his revenge. Cool. Alright, so now... So you head up, and now... Ellie, if you could talk. Talking, talking, can't wait to go and kill some orcs, decapitate, etc. <laughs> <laughs> it's very nice. Static. Is okay. it me? No. Oh. Fix my mic. Mic, mic. Mic, mic is going to go. Better sign with only Jared's mic is shit. Oh. Same as Mike.
you two. Do, do, do. All right, do, do, do. we'll just forge on without Jared. Oh my. Okay. <laughs> um, so actually, this next row, uh, this is one of my favorites. And it's so um, countering is obviously a really key skill in combat. But now you can upgrade what happens when you counter with a, a few different choices again. So uh, this one's really handy. So the rain of arrows means that when you counter, you can actually gain ammo. So if you want to mix ranged combat in with your melee, this one's incredibly handy. Um, this one feeds might. So every time you counter, if you, especially if you stack this with what Ellie had last time of the perfect might, you can just be doing executions all over the place and just building up that might bar incredibly quickly. Mm -hmm. That's the thing. Not only are there all of these individual upgrades, but there's lots of cool synergies between them and then between the gear as well. And then the third one is my other favorite, along with the other two, Fatal Counter. This one means that when you counter, if you time it perfectly, uh, right at the moment of impact, you can actually reverse it and you can kill grunts and other units as well. This one's really great for dealing with big groups of enemies. Which one do you want, Mike? Your choice. No. It's probably gonna, the, I never yeah. do this one, so let's try this one. These one, this is my favorite, these are great. Well, they're all my favorite. Um, so we'll dive back into some, so some combat here. but this is your favorite child. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I think that was the talk! Oh, just quietly doing it. Don't do it. Oh, it's just on the counter. So, on the counter, mm -hmm. um, there's, you notice the counter on there. Oh, see where it's blue? Yeah. So, it's just perfect timing on the counter. Ah, it's hard. I got one of those. I got one Should have warned you before. Oh, there's spiders. Ah, oh, spiders. <laughs> spiders do. The poison makes it pretty hard to escape. Oh, those are the icons for the gems. So if you have treasure orbs or um, also beasts as well, you can drop gems and then you can get them and imbue them into your items, your armor. This is a bit like <laughs> controller as well. How can I that talk? Only oh, my controller. Uh, <laughs> I got him now. <laughs> oh, <no. laughs> Once you get that, it, yeah. Once you get the timing, great, and then that also works with the multi counters as well. So later, when you get big battles, you can do the double counter and have just out of one um, set of counters, have Keller Brimbor taking someone out and Talion. So you can just like decimate groups of enemies. Yeah, it's definitely, uh, but it is cool yeah, in the in the larger battles. That one's really cool. We actually had a question for what tribe is she fighting right now, which would be the, uh, the opposite tribe, not the uh, agnostic yeah, tribe part of the grunts. Yeah, so the um, tribes and basically the initiation into the tribes, getting the tribal armor, all that stuff is what they gain when they join the hierarchy, so when they get promoted. Um, so the grunts are usually just wearing the base armor and the base gear, but the different tribes do actually tend to have uh, different patrols through the wilderness and so on, different classes. So right. if you if the feral tribe's in charge of the region, you're going to see more patrols oh, of yes. cavalry and so on. Um, if the machine tribe is there, you're going to encounter more slaves. So the basic grunts don't belong to the tribes in the same way, but who you're actually going to encounter and what the mix of units will vary according to who's in charge. All right. Yeah. Next. I should have a request to die to an orc. So we can die. Yeah, to so see someone become a captain. Mm -hmm. That'd be kind of fun. Yeah. As I will uh, continue to get this battery out. We can do that first before, and then come back and take our vengeance using the next. Oh, we can even die. Oh, yeah. We got six weeks to finish that. <laughs> this is, uh, you already mentioned that. This is a good build as well. Right? <laughs> <laughs> so, 
So this guy prior to this couldn't even afford pants, let alone a tribe. Um, but now, having successfully. Oh no! Don't do it! Not the sword breaker. Oh no! Okay, so in this particular case as well, um, where he's actually smashed Ellie's weapon, which is obviously a big incentive for vengeance, but the other thing that does is all of your weapons and your gear through the gear system actually dropped according to the tribe, the traits, the class, the role, everything of that particular nemesis. So although she lost that sword, once she defeats that Olog and gets it back, it's going to be an upgraded and even more powerful version of that same weapon, so we're not taking that away. Oh, now the weather's changed as well. Now we're hunting him in the rain. Is he in the, is he in the army screen? He is not, actually. So not only does he not have his pants on, he's also absconded from the army screen with your sword. Unbelievable. Let's look at the skill tree. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> who, 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 who said we should go off script here? That was madness. Um, so critical strikes, these are not the executions, so these are on your main X attacks. Actually, they can also be on some other attacks as well, but by timing the hits and not mashing the buttons, so basically one hit per enemy, you have a chance to do more damage or to put them into different states, so knock them down, stun them, um, and so on. And then on your critical strikes, we've got three different upgrades we can put to those as well. So actually this one, the reprisals, sort of similar to what we we're seeing on the might before where as you're taking damage to enemies you're becoming more powerful as well and of course those things can stack. So as your health's going down, um, your chance to actually damage and take down enemies goes up. Oh, this one's cool. So this is another one that's really optimized for skillful players and big groups and uh -huh. epic battles. So if you keep your hit streak up above 30, you're just going to be decimating and carving through enemies and even potentially one-shotting uh -huh. them. This is my other favorite. Um, so this one, again, is the, the, more, the most skilled version where if you can sustain the timing and get the precise timing, you're really going to be able to start one-shotting those grunts and doing more damage on every shot. Oh, that's awesome. Um, this one, it's probably harder to really show the difference in the context of the demo and the video and so on, but when you play, it just makes an enormous difference to the, the balancing of the game, depending uh -huh. on your play style. Try for this one. Yeah, and maybe we can see something if we can find a. Uh, oh yeah, go sure. Hit streak up above thirty. The challenge here is you need to have lots of enemies because you're killing them so yeah. fast that keeping it up there. Maybe there's a this one back too. a mission we can head towards somewhere around. Or in the fortress. In the fortress is probably Just a good place fort, to. Raise the alarm. <laughs> yep. My voice has been returned, so I uh, took a bit. If you guys are a, uh, a the Little Mermaid reference, I got my magic voice from the conch again. <laughs> so we've got different uh, combat opportunities and things in the environment as well now. So where they've basically built this factory and stuff and this logging plant outside the fortress. Perfect. Oh, <laughs> there's still a massive barrel there. Like his arms. So what ability are we showing now? So this Sounds is the, this is the critical hit. Right. So this is um well, he's got it equipped so if we get our hit streak up to thirty. So the goal here at the moment is set the alarm off and once the alarm is off this fortress is gonna start warming with So you're gonna find more elite and inside the fortress. And we can see down next to the minimap there, uh, next to the Rathbow, which is the blue one, that red icon just shows the fortress has gone to the high alarm. The shark birds. The shark birds, which I forget my black speech. Oh, what the shark birds? Shark birds. Shark birds. 
this last time which was large er, battles outside the fortresses mm -hmm. so that were so like larger scale yep. so we do have those that is one so it's quite a uh, and, and those ones the pitch battle they tend to take place when there's two war chiefs fighting right. against each other so, to, to remind you guys what's going on, Ellie's trying to get over 30 hit streak, and then it will give her an increased triple hit chance. Uh, but we were interrupting her and weren't being quiet enough. Um, good way to get that hit chance up is the flurry, so like the beast stun sets them up and you can really uh, really down. Absolutely. Yeah, jumping over the They're so fast. afraid of me though, they're running away. <laughs> Stop being as good. I think actually, like, creating a lot of, like, quick kill, or, like, uh, perfect wide hits and stuff like that is actually detrimental to building up your hit streak. So this would be... Um, yeah, and there are tensions between those. That's right. why you can really can create different builds depending on how you choose to play. Uh, play style. Right. And sometimes not killing the grunts as quickly so that you can build your uh, might bar up further is really what you want if you want to focus on taking down the captains and right. the boss enemies as well. So really, like later in the game, as you become ridiculously powerful, the grunts almost become a resource that you're going to use in combat and the uh -huh. focus totally switches to... All right, so now, oh, pretty sick. every hit on the X now, you start getting like... Oh, you're a two again! Oh. <laughs> Uh, let's see, from Google F80, will there be a... Let's see, oh no, that was stupid. That was Aslan must live on. There won't be a demo. There's a... Uh, I mean, our plan right now is at E3, there will be a playable demo, but it's not going to be like a beta you can download or something like that. It's, uh, at E3, we'll have our a playable demo that's there. Yep. And, uh, and presumably other, you know, and, uh, yeah. shows after that. So there will definitely, exactly. hopefully, chances for people to get their hands on the game before it that's a, that dash is cool because you do dash through people sometimes too. They can hear you, Mike. I, forget, I keep forgetting that. It feels like we're alone in here. In a little bit. I think, so this is something that we wanted to uh, have a, just at least to give a snippet. So we got a, a couple people were asking about the October delay. And I mean, the reason why we have mm -hmm. a delay is because we want to polish the game and make it better for you. Like that's inherently the reason. It's. Yeah, and we can see, I mean, this build's old now, just right. the number of things we see here that we know we've already fixed, whether it's graphical or gameplay or AI. Um, I think the thing for us that we've learned in the course of doing this game is just how much bigger it is than Shadow of Mordor oh, yeah. in every dimension. So yeah. the size of the game, the number of enemies, the complexity of the combat system, Absolutely. the nemesis system. So um, the process of actually testing and debugging and fixing that is just absolutely massive. And Oh, yeah. We know we have to, you know, when this game ships, the level of polish and stability and balance has to be better than we did in Shadow Mordor. So we've got this really high bar that we have to beat. Right. Um, but exactly. It sounds easy when you say it like that, but it's just a phenomenal amount of work. Oh, dude. Let's, All right, let's next. pick another one. How long we got? Uh, we have about five minutes. Oh, wow. Go. Okay. And we're, still, we're only halfway through the <laughs> These three are my absolute favorites. Um, so the ground finisher is uh, any enemy that's knocked down, you can execute them, which is a really powerful ability. Right. The thing is, you can be interrupted while you're doing that. So mm -hmm. the, the base level of this ability, you can't really exploit it too much. You've got to make sure you've got enough room or you've thrown the enemy to the ground and right. knocked over other guys. But all of these upgrades um, really allow you to fit, make that a core part of the combat. Mm -hmm. um, Fury, this is really fun. This is the kind of a, actually it's an Easter egg to the Hyperion. I think it was Hyperion Rush in God of War. 
<laughs> too late. It might have been might have been one of the PSP ones, uh -huh. but it's just so awesome. It's such move. a good move. Yeah, and lets you build a hit your hit streak up as right. you're taking these guys down. Builds up your might as well. Yep. It's my personal favorite. Uh -huh. Right, we'll totally show that one. But let's let, we'll have a quick look at the mm -hmm. others because they're cool as well. The Wraith Shield. This is really handy because now while you're doing the ground takedown, you can still counter. Right. So, which means you can actually, if you're using that, um, it's particularly effective against captains, mm. nemesis enemies, especially if they're resistant to execution. Oh yeah. So th that really cuts off a lot of your options in combat. But mm. now if you can knock them down, you can do a lot of damage right. with the ground takedown and still counter. My personal favorite, actually. <laughs> yeah. The third one, that's, this actually is my favorite. Oh, it's a the, yeah, this is the drain. So now after you've knocked them down in combat, mm. you can use the wraith abilities to either drain them, which means right. you're gonna recover resources, mm -hmm. health, whatever. But once you've upgraded and you've got the ring and you can brand them, this is a really great way to quickly dominate enemies and actually oh, yeah. turn them to be on your side in combat. And get health, right? Yes, yeah, so you... Yeah. Yeah, once you upgrade to have um, the branding as well, you don't lose the drain and the sort of resource gathering. We actually got rid of flowers since Shadow of Mordor. Um, flowers used the, to be the, one the of our health mechanics, uh. but now orcs are your flowers. Uh. So when you want to pluck a little flower, you do you it. Pluck by, their face. Yeah, you pluck their face. Cool. Their pretty little face. So should we do one of those? Mm -hmm. All right. Since we've seen the uh, flurry and the fury. Uh, <laughs> Professor Grin, oh, I'm a botany. Yeah. We have a, now the orcs are your bot. Oh. Like, it hurts. <laughs> I right, knock him down. We need to knock somebody down and also have a dude attacking you from behind. Uh, oh, they, oh, they waited. He's covering his eyes. There it is. Uh, yeah, I need All right, let's uh, let's grab another one. Okay. Because uh, we're trying to push through since we only have a short amount of time. And now, of course, as we're going along here, we're getting into the uh, more powerful and more advanced. Skills. Oh yeah. Punching. Good fury. How quick? You know, combined with um, mm -hmm. the. Uh, Incredibly powerful. Yeah. What was it? The relentless mind. Yep. Know? It's uh that very quickly immediately have a mind. Yeah, and then so from that one guy on the ground, then we're back out of that, right. and then huge AOE. And then, I don't know if you noticed, we're not showing this, but on the AOEs, mm -hmm. you can upgrade them so you can set your eyes on fire or poison or freeze them as well. Oh, yes. <laughs> Perfect. I like when you throw the guys. It's not just getting them on the ground, you can also use it to knock down enemies as well. Oh, yeah, that's awesome. Or use them too. There we go, there's ground drain. Oh. So, so that's another way to basically quickly get your health back, because otherwise you'd have to use um, like a cord, mm -hmm. like ARB or something to do the combat dominate. Yeah, which means you're spending all of your drain, might, yeah. or you have to take more time to do it. So it's right. a really fast way. But all of these just add up. You just grow so enormously mm -hmm. in combat as you go through, but the enemies are becoming a lot more powerful than they were last time as oh, well. Indeed. So we now have the, the oh the brutal aggression. So yeah, so we already had all of the base skills mm -hmm. unlocked. Um, so Ellie already had the level two of the might. Mm -hmm. And so brutal attacks, what they do is they actually spread fear as right. well. So as well as doing more damage, if you're going to use it against a captain, um, if you're using it against a grunt, it can now actually terrify and kind of clear out uh -huh. two guys. Oh yeah, this one's cool. So, so I, I was just going to say, I see a, there's a bunch of people who are asking if we're going to go off to kill the sword breaker. And it was one of those moments of like, so this is a pre-E3 build, and for whatever reason, Swordbreaker is hiding from us right now. I think and it was so his embarrassment over the fact that he had the other thing where he'd forgotten his pants. He forgot his pants, like, and he was, it's like, no it's like having that dream where you wake up in high school and you're not wearing pants, and then you find out you're on a stream. Like, yeah. Uh, just yeah. combo, so <laughs> it's a, we're not going to be able to do that right now, I'm sorry. So we will continue, but the, oh, the Wraith execution is going to be fantastic. Check this one out really quick. How many uh, can you get? Yeah, I'm, I'm oh, the thing is, it uses focus. So right. focus is the resource that enables you to slow time when no. you're hovering in the air for range. Um, but it also is used for the dash skill, right. and it's also what you can use. So if you're upgrading the focus, upgrading base, the core stat for that is mm. on the ring. Right. So the more focus you have, the more you can chain together. Right. 
So I guess the next question is, Ellie, how many can you get for this wave execution? Alright. It's uh you might want to try switching to a, a different one of the uh, mind game or do that uh, fury attack again. That was a really good way to explain. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Oh, this is I am sorry. <laughs> so we got one. Oh, one more. Yes, that was a good demonstration of what it was. <laughs> and you can you can aim at it, so it goes into slow mo while you're doing it as well. So yeah. you can pick the next target. And um, the similar ones of those are stealth kills as well. Alright, alright. Did you have a piece of that very cool? Ah! It's not cool. Anyway, and alright, we're gonna make it to the end. What's our last? Cool. This is the fire takes a die again. You're gonna have to die again. Try somebody yeah. else. Let's see, so retaliation. Ah, oh, hang interesting. on, can we show the other upgrade on the brutality? No, oh yes, so this is an interesting, so rather than chaining them together, mm -hmm. um, now when you do your executions they don't fully drain the buff, so now right. you can do more ex more normal executions as well. So it gives you the opportunity, because it goes for all mm -hmm. abilities, so anything that you're trying to use. Yep, and plus, yeah, so if you want to mix it up and mm -hmm. do the AoE in conjunction with the execution, or right. if, again if you're particularly focused on a captain, uh -huh. so it's not that you're trying to take down a group of grunts. Do you want to check that one out, or cool. do you so like we'll go on to that. We have like, I mean, this is going to be our last skill, because yep. uh, we're technically two minutes over. Okay. So we have our last chance. Mm -hmm. um, actually, something we've added since this build is you can now keep track of how many last chances you have remaining as well. But what this lets you do is um, different upgrades to what happens as the result of being uh -huh. successful at the last chance as well. So you can have an additional last chance, which obviously makes the game significantly easier. Right. Unless you meet some bastard orc <laughs> who gives you no chance and just kills you anyway. Uh, draining the attacker. Oh, that's cool. So, yeah, so this means you're actually not only going to survive, but you're going to come back with another ally right. on your side. And then um, full might on the last chance as well. The advantage of that one is you're now back into the fight, but right. you're back into the fight and ready to do an execution or other AoE and otherwise take vengeance on the guy who just knocked you down. Oh, fantastic. And I like how that has the skill bit where you have to, on a perfect last chance. Yes. <laughs> so, Ellie, you think you can do it? And perfect. Actually, no, I'm not good at these. Oh. <laughs> I what? can try. You can try one of the other ones. Yeah. Okay. You know what? Let's try this one. That's the coolest one. It is a little chaotic. I mean, your health's really low, though. So yeah. that's actually yeah. maybe a good idea to stay down there. All the fire propagating. I'm just going to pull that out as well, F5. But the, yeah. the having the fire propagate and burn its way through these fortunes and then ignite the other barrels of the oil. Right. That's so much chaos. That's awesome. So the perfect's going to be the little circle. <laughs> close, close. Try to, try to. Fantastic how he's going. Just hanging out with your bros now. <laughs> on fire. So I love how the fire is just like propagating to enough that people stand in it long enough just end up getting burned. Mm -hmm. Alright, here we go. It's all you, Ellie. Oh! Yeah, we didn't oh. See Ook, ook. <laughs> yeah, you can't believe it! I'm on a stream! Talk Slayer! Good for Ook. This is... I quite like the sound of that. Talk Slayer! From now on, I will be known as the Talk Slayer! <laughs> For everybody at home, we don't have any audio coming from the TV, so we just watched an orc just mouth at us for a little bit, and we're just like, "Yeah, we well, I mean, we know what he says. We've heard it so many times." But anyway, so that is what we have to show you guys today for what, as far as like what abilities we have, and kind of a little bit more of gameplay. We'll have another stream next. Press. Go ahead and flip over to it. Woo! Look at us. So we're living in cool. a beautiful uh, place. So here we are on the island in the Sea of Nern. And what we're going to do today is we're going to conquer that fortress over there. But I'm allowed to say that we're going to make this interactive, that these yeah, guys are going to jump votes. in and vote and mm -hmm. actually choose how it is that we go about uh, taking down this fortress.
So we're just up on uh, one of the seeing stone towers here, looking out over the region. Um, that's an outpost over to the right. So these are different outposts like the strongholds we would have had in the open world in Shadow of Mordor. So there's a whole open world obviously here to explore, hunt down orcs, play the story, go after the collectibles, craft your gear. Um, but today we're just going to initially focus on the fortress. So let's go. All right, let's uh, actually go for a walk to this point up to the Fortress Assault. So let's take our time. I mean, punch an orc or two if they get in your way. Oh, yeah, just over on the left here as well. Oh. If you just have a quick look, just to the left, just we can look through the, um, maybe we'll just go for a little view, the forest. So we've also done a lot with the, the vegetation through the whole region. So um, there's a whole bunch of things we could explore and story. Oh, look out. <laughs> get out of it. Down, um, through the forest. So yeah, we've really done a lot with the, the vegetation, the wildlife that's down there, um, the missions we can pursue. But we will stay on target for the fortress. Stay on here. target. Stay on target. Okay, gotta do. Gotta do those references. So uh, anyway, that was the um, Killebrand Bore Hammer and then Flurry Strike with the final with a WAP, right? Like yeah, to follow through. And so um, one of the upgrades we've done is you can now use ice as a part of your uh, sort of combat repertoire with the Bright Lord and with right. the hammer and so on as well. Right, right. You can see an orc is actually emerging out of the little <laughs> latrine over there. So Why? Orcs got to poop. Yep. Makes sense. Actually, as we come to the outpost as well, as well as the fortresses, um, depending on which tribe is in charge of the region, that'll actually affect what orcs we can meet here uh -huh. or you know how it's decorated as well. Got little rats running around. You can actually use those guys for health, the rats, too. Drain the rat? Oh. Yeah. <laughs> Drain the rat is a common Mordor saying. <laughs> Meaning any number of things. So we can see the banner <laughs> there. To say. We're going after, this is a warmonger um, fortress. We can see those huge axes they've de decorated their towers with. The banners here. Something else that's actually quite cool. Oh, this is another move. I love this one. Once you've um, got them down on the ground, you can go into sort of a flurry of blows as right. a Grimbor to finish them off. Another thing. Actually, if you just look back up at the outpost we're at, see if you can drop those. Um, oh, drop the, the wood? There was the wood there as yeah. well. So we've got different opportunities in the environment to thank the enemies too. Uh, oh, is anyone under it? No one's under it at the moment, but we can show it <laughs> off anyway. Uh, apparently my grandmother is watching. Hi, Mimi. Nice <laughs> to see you. Hello, Jared's grandma. <laughs> this is Mike. Okay. He's a great guy. All right, so I see a couple of you guys are bringing up that you're sorry about the rat dying. Oh, it's this okay. is a treasure orc. Oh, the treasure orc? Yeah, yeah. yeah. So you take this guy up. This is really handy. So he's actually dropped um, a, la a labeling element of class the gem. And the gems you can use to slot into your weapons and armor to give them additional upgrades and stats. And the red ones are generally, it's a warrior gem. Right. So they're going to help with mostly your, your attacking stats. Awesome. Can we um, slot it in? Yeah, sure. So we'll start lock. So as a, before we jump in there, as a heads up to everybody who's talking about audio, we'll be dropping the audio back down to a certain level when we hit the arm, or excuse me, when we actually start the Fortress Assault, because it's very loud, right, when you start Fortress Assaults. So uh, just so you guys are aware, we'll keep moving the audio up now as you guys are responding to it, but uh, we will push it back at one point because we want you guys to hear what we have to say, so. Especially your Nana. Oh, please, <laughs> yes. I call her my Nana. I call her Mimi. Actually. All right, Mimi, okay. Uh, so we've got this uh, Warrior's Gem. Um, put that into the sword, the bow. Oh, well, there we go. So 10% damage. That's going to be handy. Oh, yeah. Definitely. And we'll continue on our way towards the fortress. Yeah. You can see where the orcs have actually cleared all the forest here in front of the fortress. So I'm doing some work now. Yes. So they've pretty much eaten all of the humans that used to live here. So in Shadow of Mordor around here, we had Lothariel and the tribesmen right. and so on. Um, but they're pretty much done for, so yes, they've had to rely on other orcs for their orcs gonna eat. labor. This is actually another really nice example of a vegetation now, so we can use that for right. stealth as well. Okay. Yes, so I come up. Ellie, we have a request that uh, you grow a facial beard, like all of us on stream. Oh, I gotta work on that. <laughs> <laughs> Borrow, bye. Borrow, that'd be fun. Feel that out. Okay. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Nice. 
Um, so before we just launch the assault, we're just going to go into the army screen and just give a little bit of a tour of some of the orcs. Actually, if we come down and see the, the followers, it's just nice to have the chance to go and yeah. show some of the things we've added. We're going to add a follower too, so that's one of the things. So oh, I mean, okay. let's let's look at a couple guys that look cool. For, already, uh, yeah, I mean like. <laughs> Mr. Antlers here. The thing we've been able to just expand so much is just the amount of flair and outfits and characters and traits and um, abilities, just really blowing it out. And I think what's cool this time, so this is just a random guy we zoomed in on. Mm -hmm. um, so he's Arbinu of the Beasts. He's Feral Tribe. He's a Beast Master. I bet if we go and look at his traits, yeah, he's got a Karagor pack with Ooh, that's him. That's awesome. He's a Beast Slayer. So now it's not just like last time, they looked varied and they looked individual and they right. had lots of characteristics, but it was a bit random this time really are creating these varied and procedural characters. And you can have one look at this guy and it's a Beast Master. Oh, who, that's, who can do that's awesome. Yeah, he's another Olo there. Yeah, yeah, a long too. Uh, he's not our follower. Oh, okay. oh, still look at him. Oh, Hisu? Yeah. Well, oh, our Mystic's Hisu. Destroyer. So again, we can see he's a destroyer. He's got the bandolier of grenades, so oh, he's going to be man. detonating things everywhere. Right. Mystic tribe, so he's wearing the mask. He's going to be really dangerous. Although, he does, uh, he is sick, so he's particularly vulnerable to poison. So he's scared of Karagors. That makes sense. Karagors are pretty dangerous. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> Tell Jared it's his other grandmother. Good Hi, Nana. Good. It is actually Nana that time. Hi. She's going to the front with the skull, though. I, think. Sorry, I'm just, I awesome. just love... We just basically... I do this a lot. Just roll different hierarchies and right. just check them out and just keep looking through the orcs. And you can do this for hours and oh. just never see two guys that are the same. Totally. Yeah, so again, he's an archer trainer. He's a specialist. Um, so he's actually lower rank, so he hasn't got his gang yet. But I bet if this guy survives and moves his way up, he's going to have absolutely yeah. archers with him. Strong. Oh, he's oh look at the power shot and quick shot. Yeah, he's definitely worth training archers with. Mm. That's pretty awesome. awesome. That's cool. All right. Anyway, onwards. Well, let's choose someone for a, a bodyguard. Actually, oh, okay. bodyguards. Yeah. Of course. Yeah, bodyguards. I mean, or maybe we should actually look at the strengths and weaknesses first, and then choose someone who will, like. Be are we going to choose or are we going to let these guys choose? We'll choose the bodyguards simply because there's the number of them, but then they'll be able to choose who they want as the overlord once we'll, okay. we get to that far. So we've got a bunch of guys here who are already our followers, so we already looked at Urbini. He's oh. pretty awesome. The executioner. <laughs> Let's actually also check out the overlord and warchiefs too, because then we can find the one that's like perfect to kill the overlord, because I want to bring the bodyguard in when we're fighting the overlord. It's a good match, yeah, sure. Yeah. Let's check out his weaknesses. So, Og the Elder, <laughs> do we been around for a while. Do we have any more guy flies or Grog followers? Ah. You can actually summon Grogs. That's so true. So if we had that skill, we could bring a Grog in. Or, um, yeah, that could that could work. That could work. Uh, flies are going to be more difficult depending on the state that he keeps his throne room in. Right. <laughs> that would be pretty Fear interesting. Fear of pinning. That's a pretty uh, good one to be able to right. exploit. Uh, be can he's range. What are his strengths? Yeah, because he's a legendary with two epic traits. So. Great strength. So getting okay. hit by him is really going to hurt. Right. And throwing knives. Okay, so yeah, he's pretty accurate in combat. He's pretty good. What's the uh, the immunities that he has? So no chance. Ooh. <laughs> okay. So he's living up again. He's an assassin. So right. So this is a guy. He's going to get in fast, uh -huh. knock you down quickly, finish you off. Oh, that's awesome. Ellie right. really has got the work. This guy actually yeah. might be pretty hard. It might be awesome. <laughs> oh, that's that's sweet. All right. All right What's so the, the farthest two over? Stand. Execution. Oh, <laughs> oh wow. <Yes. laughs> no way. Be, that's how he got to be the elder. Oh, See, this guy's, a, this guy's a survivor. Yeah. To be a big fish, you don't let yourself get caught. To be an old orc, don't get killed. Yeah. All right. Oh, and last stand. Oof. Good luck. Oh, yeah, this will be fun. So someone who can uh, maybe dish out a lot of damage. Take some of the, take some of the heat. Oh, yeah. Great killer! Great killer! Oh, that's awesome! Oh, this guy looks sick. Yeah, specialized uh, monster slayer. Uh huh. Craven. Craven though. Yeah, he'll he'll probably. <laughs> so as soon as he sees the in. elder, <laughs> quite out. wisely, he's, oh, he's going to be out of there. Oh, okay, yeah, I want to do Craven. I use a lot of fire, fire based attacks, so I don't want him to get afraid. All right, that one's I out. Oh, Res fine, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Respect your elders, kids. Yeah. Don't run up and murder your elders. We don't want Agreed. <laughs> I mean, I love the antler guy, honestly. Mortally flammable. What was that about fire again? 
It could provide a convenient distraction <laughs> as he burns to death. Plus, as he burns to death, you would get loot. That's true. So his death, his death might help. I mean, that's one. <laughs> that's one way. I, I don't know though. What about um? We got a guy all the way on the far right, uh, Archer. Scoff the damned. Well, we won't that's be executing him, like, but he's flammable as well. So, eh. I don't oh, know. What's his strength? Cursed. Yeah, the other guy was curse immune, huh? though. The, yeah. The overlord was curse immune. He's pretty tough. He might be all right in the in the battle. Like he's probably a pretty good choice on our assault team. Oh, in the assault team, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Before Maybe. we get to the right. Uh, overlord. Actually, to fill everybody in, this is a very normal thing to be doing in Shadow of War, where you look at the strengths and weaknesses, and you're trying to figure out which guys complement or can take advantage of mm -hmm. a lot of these problems. Like as yeah. Ali put it, we use fire a lot. The guy is more <laughs> wounded by fire. Uh, not a good combo. This guy's beast fodder, which is which he's not going to need to face in there, so that's right. fine. That's not bad. He's got a gang. Oh, that's spearman. awesome. That's actually yeah. going to be really handy in the. Uh, Do you think this guy? This theater. guy might be a good bodyguard. Yeah. Okay. Uh, but I wouldn't necessarily put him into the fight because they have two Caragor mm -hmm. riders in the fight. Yep. So, so save well, if him. he's our bodyguard, we'll summon him in. For right. The Overlord. Right. right. Oh. Actually, just yeah. So. Making the bodyguards as simple as just going into the army screen, hitting the command button, mm -hmm. which is Y on there, and just confirming. And then once you have the bodyguard, you can summon him to fight alongside you at any time. Right. And the mounts work in the same way. So if we'd unlock the summon Growl Ooh. skill, we'd be in really good shape. Right. This is going to be good. Uh, this is, this yeah. is a good one. Terrified of burning. You don't need to look at anything else that's enough. Oh. <laughs> Ellie is our <laughs> best Shadow of War player, so she comes in and has no problem with anything. So uh, there you go, but yeah, let's. Uh, so we're actually coming up to our first vote now. Uh, the first vote is going to be whether we're going to assault directly or whether we're going to go against the war chief. So you guys will be able to see uh, vote assault and vote, vote bleh, war chief. Whoa, chief! You'll be able to see a vote assault or vote war chief as an option. And so the idea is, if you want to do the straight assault, which is what we have up here, you have that option. Or if you guys want to take out a war chief and pull them out and then fight them, kind of in a one-on-one -on -one kind of thing remove them, and then have an easier attack. We see assaults currently at 70%, so that might be what we'll do. We could also potentially do the take out the war chief later as well, so it could be either any direction, really. And um, <laughs> if we do <laughs> actually assault, and in the course of the assault, we manage to take down some of these war chiefs, uh -huh. and then if Ellie, it's not gonna happen, but if she was to die um, and time moves forward, then those guys are going to stay dead. So right, yeah. you can actually advance time and make progress even if uh -huh. you do fail the assault. Cool. Oh, that's, that's, that's looking pretty assault. Okay. We still have a couple more uh, moments of people voting. So uh, let's give them a few more seconds. And I think as we do this, so I do want Ellie to die once to show what it's like. Okay. And so you can this do it kind of like. It's a pretty hard hierarchy though, Jared. It, it I'm is. I'm feeling like there is a chance of legitimate That overlord, just yeah. save it, but he's now set you up. So any case in which you <laughs> do actually die. I know. Oh, that was clearly on Perfect. purpose. <laughs> that was for Jared. Oh, we. And <laughs> his man. Aw. Don, yeah. Let's see. So looking through, as people are going through, it's. Let's do one more refresh and see where it is. Mm -hmm. Assault. We're gonna do an assault first. Okay. So we could potentially, if you were to die, we could have that option as um, just as a second up kind of thing that we can do. It's just like, well, you died once, and then we do a war chief just so people can experience it, uh, or you can live. Whatever. We have like 40 more minutes to go. So, mm -hmm. however we sort of choose to do it. Well, if we get through it and we manage to defeat him, then we can sort of yeah attack yeah. it again in a different way. There is that. Whatever. So let's go ahead and start choosing some of the abilities, but once we get to 18 down there, this is actually for them to choose. So oh, I see, okay. Booble the Handsome, what a name! I love it. It's not ironic at all. No, so he's beautiful. He's an assassin and he's uh, mounted. Right. And basically, for every assault leader that we bring in mm -hmm. to help Ellie take down this fortress, that also gives us the option to upgrade our attacking army. So right. either to bring additional forces in, or to bring some sort of other sort of upgrade, or artillery, or beasts. Awesome. So this first slot where we have Boobol, um, this <laughs> the enables handsome. us. The handsome. Sorry. <laughs> yeah. Um, <laughs> enables us to bring in some additional troops. So right. sappers, these are like basically that guy who was at the Battle of Helm's Deep who ran up, detonated the wall, oh, yeah. boom. So um, they're pretty great for helping us breach in through the gates. Mounted cavalry, the thing with Karagors as cavalry versus horses is they can climb. So mm -hmm. this cavalry actually sort of living siege ladders. They right. can go up and over the walls. Oh, that's awesome. 
Um, and then finally, Olog High, who've got these massive clubs. So once again, these are our version of battering rams, right. as well as being uh, really powerful in combat as well. Okay. We can choose whatever one we want to do for this one at the moment. Like, uh, so they have stone walls. I, uh, I mean, if we have anybody, they had two Karagors, so I wouldn't necessarily do mana Karagors if they don't have anybody who's hurt by beasts, like a beast fodder guy. So like, but let's do whatever's coolest. So they've got really powerful gates and they've got stone walls. So that's ah. probably going to mean even with the sappers, it's going to be hard to uh, blow those up. Right, so maybe actually a Karagor one. That'll get us uh, over the walls, maybe take out some of the archers that are lining the walls. So right. it seems like they're oh, okay. choice. Oh, let's do it. And then in the second slot, again, now we've got a choice of more troops. Um, these are combat troops, so savages. These are dual-wielding, uh, axe-wielding guys. So really up close and carving their way through the defenders. Right. Defenders have got shield. They're going to absorb more incoming fire from mm. archers, you know, soak up more damage. So right. if we can get in and have a breach and have these guys around us at the victory point, they're going to uh, basically playing more on defense or attack. Okay. And hunters are spearmen. So if we were facing enemy Karagors, enemy right. Ologs, different creatures, they're really effective at standing back and taking those down. That's awesome. Since we have two Karagor riders, should we do something like Hunter Host? But then we also have Savages as our opponents, uh, <laughs> troops that they're bringing in. So mm -hmm. strategically, which direction do we? Whatever's Ellie. coolest to me. Yeah. Ellie, it's all you. <laughs> I usually like to bring defenders. Alright. Cool. Oh. Help some damage here. Yeah. Um, and now, and, and this thing, the, the number of um, assault leaders that you're bringing with you, right. that actually grows as the game goes on, as we mm. get deeper into the story, as the armies get larger. So here, no, we're probably about halfway through the story. So that's where we've got the four um, assault leaders. But later in the story, and then as through other upgrades, we can bring as many as six, and then we've even got additional uh, army upgrades that we can bring in board oh, that's awesome. as well. So the third slot is our artillery, and they're these massive siege beasts, so giants with big ballistas on their back. And what we can choose now is what sort of ammunition to equip them with. So fire is obviously great for just spreading general damage. Right. Um, poison's really effective, um, both against troops, but also if we had any enemies we were facing that had a weakness to fire. And Curse spreads terror among the um, enemies, and again, is a good one to look for if they have particular weaknesses. Ah, <laughs> uh, we got Curse. I'm gonna we'll go, curse. go with that. <laughs> Terran Andy is some of the comments. Vote Pants. Yeah, I like it. So we're going Curse? Yeah, let's do Curse. And last, but by absolutely no means least, uh, there's Creatures. This is probably the hardest choice because they're all really awesome. And this will also be where one. you guys will vote on this. So let oh, wow. like Mike go through the discussion. Okay. I'm actually going to set up the vote. So, uh, we can do this. I would go off screen, but um, I like being. Actually, yeah. Go ahead, Mike. I'll get off screen for this. So, the thing with the Wild Drake, um, this is a fire breathing um, young dragon. And the thing with that, he is wild. He's not tame. So, he's going to be spreading chaos among our troops and among the enemy troops. But if Ellie breaks him, then we'll also be able to take him over and ride him around and use him in combat as well. The war growl is a little different. He's actually tame. So he's a massive hulking giant who can also climb towers, take down enemy artillery, help us claim uh, victory points. So he's pretty awesome if we want to go King Kong. And Shelob's brood. These are sort of swarms of these big spiders that can uh, really wreak havoc among enemy troops. So spiders, uh, giant growl, or a wild and perilous drink. <laughs> all right, so I just opened the vote for you mm -hmm. guys to make that decision. Uh, so all of you guys were hitting vote spiders prior to <laughs> finishing. You didn't vote yet, so do it again. Okay. And uh, it'll count your votes. It won't recount, and you can change count or votes as well if you want to. These are cool. They love so, the uh, spiders. Oh, yeah. are cool. So right, Jared. I told you, yeah. yeah. We're, we're <laughs> all I was like, who isn't going to want a drink? <laughs> I mean, I know. I know. Well, the, actually, look at this. Yeah. See this? Yes. Oh, my gosh. No, Drake, you guys, come on. Let's see. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> spiders is currently oh. at 82%. Oh, I think awesome. uh, spiders it is. <laughs> Hold on, let's let oh, them. Oh, I want to. I want to see the, the final chance. choice, but 79.6 uh, uh, <laughs> guys, look, it's gaining. <laughs> Something else is. Oh. Rogue and Drake are actually pretty close at like eight and ten percent. 
<laughs> so, uh, but yeah, I, I know my chat. Wow. It's <laughs> Drake's awesome. That's great. That's it's a good choice. It's a g- <laughs> all the choices are good. Yeah, you awesome. have disappointed them slightly. No, no, no. Oh. I was actually hoping for the spider. I'm just surprised. Oh, okay. Well, in that case, you That's haven't disappointed at all. It's moved to 75.6%, though. So, oh. as you can see, not at all close. <laughs> All right, let's do it. All right, yeah, let's uh, let's go ahead and do spiders. I'm gonna close that one out. I I feel so proud. You guys didn't let me down. It was just like they're gonna do spiders. <laughs> I, I'm convinced it's gonna be spiders. <laughs> so we stopped the vote. So now we're doing spiders. And uh, I mean, one thing for those of you guys who are interested in graugs, because uh, there was about ten percent of you that I saw doing graugs. There are siege beasts that mm-hmm. we can climb up. And actually, uh, let's let's ride one. I think that would be. We really can cool. try. We can't guarantee these things. It's gonna be chaotic. Oh yeah, sometimes they die in the yes. very beginning. <laughs> It's not like we scripted this in any way, shape, or right. form. Anything can happen. If yeah. we catch one in time, let's try to ride one. Mm-hmm. Okay. Ready? Yeah. All right. Let's do it. So fun not knowing how these are going to turn out. Oh, totally. <laughs> also, it's hard to hear us at this point, and uh, let's oh, okay. make so we'll all change the volume. But so right now they all hear this. <laughs> But uh, when they all start talking, same rules handling. We have uh, no comments during any work conversation. My lads told me you brought an army with you. I'm looking, and I don't see anything I'd call an army. You will not capture our fortress this day. Not our keep, not our walls. Your bodies will be ripped to pieces, pressed into the mud before our mighty gates. Now's the time to strike, Moss. <laughs> On your order, of course. They should thank us for bringing war to their gates. Instead, they spout nonsense. I say we should go in there and teach them some manners. Oh yeah, that almost have gotten pretty popular because you can't see through it really. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so that's pretty fun. Spider shell. Okay, what are we gonna do first? So there we can see the cursed. Oh, they're actually they have the poison artillery. Right. So you can actually, if you can shoot the, or if Ellie can shoot the ammo packs on the back, that's a really good way to weaken these guys as right. well. We also have our own. Mount our own siege beast and actually use that as artillery, so we can fire these cursed projectiles. All right. You can actually see that if you see the first victory point near that A, yeah, yeah. bunch of these guys are already dazed. Right. Um, I bet that's the spiders already in there, <laughs> just oh, yeah. spreading some chaos. I mean, to quote well, Sir Spiffy, we bring spooters. So. <laughs> yeah, let's bring them in. Okay, so now um, the siege beast has had the artillery blasted off his back. Um, and that enables us to take over, ride him, and actually climb straight over these walls. Oh, I love Maybe that even take out some of the enemy artillery? I think, yeah, I think you already took him out already. Oh, he's broken. <laughs> oh, there you go. Like Boom. Oh, now they're going to do the punching battle. Ow. Oh. I love... Oh, man, it's like they're... Oh, and he's done. One. So we've actually um, can destroy their artillery. And then, yeah. yeah, might as well. Oh, I love that they're doing like the sucker punch. <laughs> Turtle fight. Close ogre plague bringer. Oh, so <laughs> while um, Ellie was up there busy taking out those grouds, you can see around that victory point. Uh, one of our followers is bleeding out. So if you see the bleeding over the top, yeah, yeah. Um, and then the circle that's bleeding out. So these guys can obviously. But you don't get very far, and you don't blunder back out alive. Let's see about that. Is that like rock and sock and grog brats? That's that. Uh, yeah, we. Yeah, exactly. His name is Bootleg. Yep, so he is quite rightly, uh, quite wisely taking off. And now, see that guy that was broken by the growl Ooh. in combat. I think he's, is he oh, who we looked at before. Yeah, that's the Drake Slayer. Oh, that that's we awesome. checked out before. So now. That's uh, a guy. Oh, he is now. I aimed at the wrong guy. 
Oh, you did? Did yeah. you shadow Brent? Yeah, hold on. Oh, of course! Oh, shadow you shadow so dominated the wrong guy. Right. No, so right. Just yeah, showing right. who's right. boss. Right. Right. Yeah, the guy with the broken There we icon. go. Oh. Got a high five in the face. Painted. So, we can recruit him. Uh, we can shame him just to give him a lesson and hunt him down later in the world or let him go and fight him to the death if mm -hmm. we want that sweet gear. But it's all I mean... I mean, he looks really cool. I, I, I love the, I the body paint. Army. That's really cool, yeah. We need him. <laughs> well, some people are saying shame, shame, yeah. shame. No, we'll, we'll shame. Don't worry, guys. I'm a big fan of shame. Skak the painted. Come on, he's so cool. He is cool. Yeah. You want to try to save the guy who's right at your feet? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, oh, never mind. Uh. <laughs> it's a random grunt. Got that shot in, too. <laughs> Oh, nice use of the AOE. Another upgrade we've got now is you can add the different elemental effects onto the Elven Light, the right. AOE. So you can use that to poison, or to freeze, or in this case to start a fire around the victory point. Oh, that's awesome. This is it's awesome. And so now, the help of the followers fills up um, that first victory point. Claimed it. There's another broken guy back there too. Oh, that's working. Oh, is it? Yeah. Oh, sweet. You should go shame this one for all of you. Did I hear a knock at the door? I don't know. Maybe I did. I don't know. Maybe Andy's that? coming back. First guy that had the audacity to tell Ellie she wasn't going to take this for. Yeah. So Maybe as you guys know. requested, we'll shame now. Yep. Fourteen. So Ooh. that really uh, messes with their mind, but right. he's going to survive. He's back out there in the region. When we meet him later, he's going to remember this. So it's a really good way to build up and develop more stories. Oh, these guys. Yeah. Our movement um, can now rapidly climb up the side of buildings. Right. And of course, we have the double jump and we have the aerial slow mo. Ooh. So oh no! Oh. no! I tried. Nazu! The execution. But even that, so a few things now. He's dead, so here's that nice bow that he's left for us. Oh, and a rare actually, rune to upgrade the ring with as right. well. Nazu actually left the rune. One of our, mm -hmm. the painted guy that we just dominated just killed the other captain, and that's how we got that bow. It's just, nice. just in the corner. I was like, oh, look at that. That was sick. And so on the ring of power, on the new ring, the right. key stat that's on that is your focus, which affects the slow-mo. So uh -huh. that's your ability to slow time in range, but also to use other moves like the dash and right. the sprint. Oh, oh, yeah. And we've got the other trait as well. So the thing we get now that's quite fun uh -huh. is um, on the rare or above items, we can see that it says the Lunar Rune, and mm -hmm. that came from Nazu the Executioner. Right. Now we have a challenge on that where if three, which actually this particular challenge, a Fort Assault, is a nice place to have this. If our followers defeat three enemies, uh -huh. we'll then unlock an extra attribute where all of our allies are going to take 10% less damage. Oh, that's awesome. And that will really immortalize Nazu the Executioner because it unlocks his name and a right. little quote from him as well. So um, on Shadow of Mordor, we'd find people would get these relationships with these orcs and kind of be a little sad when they finally killed them and right. wanted a way to remember them. So now the way you can remember them forever is is through your favorite gear and your loot and actually uh, immortalizing <laughs> them. I love the idea of just looking at your sword. It's like, I miss you. I miss, I miss you. Slash bang, slash bang, slash. bang, bang. <laughs> yeah. It's very, okay. uh, Everybody's saying it's like Aslar, Natsu. <laughs> they they oh. fell in love with Azu. Yeah, but even uh. like the the demolisher, like that gear that we got from him, uh -huh. well, he will live forever. Ooh, it's a oh, better bow. Yeah, a little nice. bit better. Let's see. Right, you're having a developing fan club, Ali. Uh, cool. <laughs> Press F to pay respect. That's right. Oh, what's that? Um, is that a collectible oh. or is that money? It looks, oh, up above, that's actually one of the talking collectibles. Oh, okay, well we won't grab that now, but in the future, the little um, Gondorian icon there with the uh -huh. tree and the crescent moon, um, that's one of the collectibles. Again, and learn more about the background and the history. Right. So our mountain combat on the um, Karagors, we've expanded that a lot as well now, so you can also use the glaive and right. the spear. And you can build up your might bar. The might bar is the orange one above the mini map mm -hmm. to enable you to do special moves and execution kills and all ah. enemies. Like stabbing in the leg. And yes. Oh no, Karagor oh. down! You won't make it to the Overlord. I'll see you spread 
right across the ground to this fort. It's a feast for the seething maggots. It's hard to actually see the exact detail on that guy, but if you look really closely, he's actually got individual little you can see the maggots, maggots in there. swerving around in oh. the pits in his flesh. It is gross. And his name's Wormwicker, so he, he likes to be on. He lick, likes it. Like to lick his own maggots. <laughs> Metawing, no, you can't ride the spiders. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you're doing this part again. So that gains you a lot of might, which is what's really yes. nice about it. Yeah, and builds up the hit counter. It's right. a really good moving combo. Ooh! I'll give him a favor. It looks painful. I don't know, he's a worm licker. He's into that kind of thing. What do we get? What's the worm licker going to give us? Okay. Ooh. Oh, dagger. And so now, third victory point is captured, and all of the war chiefs are defeated. Mm -hmm. um, the rest of the army is actually surrendered at this point, so it's really right. handy if you want to just go around, you can find one of the enemies and mm -hmm. just drain them, um, get your health ready for the final battle. Right. Probably do that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I think that's a good idea. Actually, so time-wise, uh, we've been on about uh, half an hour. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, we had the discussion about, oh, someone who asked about spiders? There's, There's a spider right back there. Oh, wow, well, in the chaos. Yeah, you can see these guys. Oh, cheering for us. Yeah, I think it's the really cute oh, when they actually, oh, well, oh. he's dead. <laughs> you killed the spider. But yeah, at the end, they kind of like cheer, which I think is really cute. Um, well, and the other guy, and the uh, the enemies that are defeated will kneel down, so you can just walk to, up to them yeah. and add them to your army Take as well. Take right then. So, well, my point. I totally forgot the spiders. It's okay. And they I were saw there a couple. Spread in chaos yeah, I they saw helped the us a lot, though. Yep. That first point. Oh, yeah, that first point where everybody they was really dazed. Helped. That was actually yeah. them, yeah. Um, but uh, she killed the spooter. Uh, <laughs> those spooters. So, m well, my point was is if we, like, it's only been about half an hour and we have about an hour to do stuff, so mm -hmm. that might give us an opportunity to try to do a reroll, maybe either charge through as quickly as it can or. We're going to get the overlord first, though, right? Yeah, well, I was no, going to say, do you want to die? Do you want to die or do you want to. You can't die now. You can't die now? Yeah. Oh. Well, Too I was going to give them the opportunity to pull out a war chief and stuff like that. No. Okay. <laughs> was like, I got this. I'm sorry. No. I'm sorry. I got it. Well, let me just get this guy real quick. <laughs> All right. And plus, we've got to um, summon the bodyguard. we got to summon the bodyguard. Yep. we got to show the legendary gear we'll get from this guy. Like, yeah. we got to let this guy badmouth us. He taunted us. us in the beginning. We can't let him get away with that. Right. Let's see who we promote. So we'll get to show a couple of... Uh, Those who dare stand before the lord of this fort are swiftly put to death. That's right. And yet you're still here. Dark comments being said there. <laughs> Look at all, I love the knives on his bandolier to throw. That's nice. He's got the throwing knives as well. Oh yeah. All right, so let's uh, let's bring in our bro. Okay, first let's just remind ourselves of how incredibly tough this guy is. <laughs> so what it looks like. Oh, he's saying. the fear oh, yeah. of pinning. That we'll is that. literal Achilles heel. Yeah, it'll be yeah. perfect. <laughs> Shooting him in the heel is his Achilles heel. Shoot him in the foot. He does look, Kratos, he does look a little bit like God of War, doesn't he? Kratos, yeah. He let himself go and lived immortal for a while. <laughs> I guess so. Oh, nice slide. Ooh. Don't forget our bodyguard. Okay. Oh, yeah. One of the, the, oof. The biggest joys is to see someone else taking out some of the fight. All right, so he's shown up. And should be somewhere. I think we might have lost him. Oh, did we lose him in the fight? We lost oh! Him in the fight. It's oh. the one I tried to save, but I didn't get to him in time. Oop, I saw a couple ch chats and uh, a couple chat comments saying you lost him. Yeah. I, I was like, no, we didn't. We're fine. Sorry. I should have trusted you guys. Oh, you. Yeah. Oh. So the glaive you can use in combat as well. It's really handy. Right. And you can double oh, charge it to do uh, combos too. Right, the charge up one. Oh man. Oh, oh no. no. Oh. oh no. So I got a question from Lord Clamoring. Yep. Which is, uh, just letting you guys know. As oh, mighty shot. Well. We're, we're, doing com we're focusing on this right now, but as in like when you ask things like how many regions? We're not talking about that at the moment. We're a. Uh, we're here to support Ellie. Mike and I, cheerleaders. So, pom poms and all. Which I don't have any pom poms. I should have brought pom poms. That would have been awesome. You haven't got the pom poms? No, I forgot the pom poms. I got confused with setting up the stream and everything. Oh, that's 
So the archers are positioned up around the balcony. Right. They're a really good opportunity to go and dominate them and then actually flip them oh, from yeah. being a uh, threat into the... Get health. I don't see that. Ooh, the poison shot. Oh, tell you what, um, also your elven rats fully charged. Oh, yeah, we'll oh that would oh. be a sick moment. So the blue bar on the right that goes all the way around, right. that's uh, elven rats, so that enables um, Calibri Moore to come out. Oh, you've got him going down. Oh, not quite. So, it's a. I got a comment which was like, "Oh, you're doing it." Which was like, "Are you immortal right now?" No, not at all. No, no, no. That we was almost close died. to death. Yeah. But um, that brief period. So, if you save up the Elven Wrath, that like, gives you a little taste of immortality. Oh yeah. So, um, should we? I don't want to shame because I want to show them the legendary gear. No, so. we'll fight him to the death. Yeah. Oh, okay. There we go. Fight to the death? Yeah, a lot of people saying die, die, die. So yeah, fight to the death it is. Oh, <laughs> it's the Achilles up. heel. That's what you said. He lived so long uh, and died with an arrow in the eye. It happens sometimes. You know, the, the best overlords do the, what they can. Oh, man. We didn't get any like, new armor to show off necessarily either. I think some might have dropped. While we feast in victory, they quake in fear because they know that we are coming for them. Witness the rise of Mordor. Witness the rise of the Bright Lord. Flag in this fortress. And then, um, so now we own the fortress, right? which also means we own the region. All right. I'm going to set up the uh, the opportunity for us to um, choose who we want as our overlord. Oh, yeah, cool. So I'm going to hop um, off screen for a second. All right. And then oh. any gear that we didn't pick up in the course of the fight, so that legendary dagger, the purple one, that would have come. That's your reward for shooting him in the butt. <laughs> and, uh, and some nice armor as well. All right. So, oh wow, we got a, a line. Backstabbing. Um, yeah. <laughs> so we lost our bodyguard, right? So yep. yeah. That's a, all right. I'm gonna put in Feral because that like the horn guy because I know that that guy was cool. Yeah. So I'm gonna yeah. put that guy as an option. Uh, let's uh, put a couple my, other ones. Is my painter still alive? Oh, your painter? Oh, Skak oh, the painted. The oh yeah. Mystic. That's uh. Let's do Skak. He should. He's an option oh, now. Oh wow. Although he would also make a cool bodyguard, so it's sort of a shame to leave him oh, that's back good, there. That's a good point. That is home. a good point, yeah. Uh, oh, let's do Drake Killer. Rat attack. He's, he's feral too, though. Well, yeah, yeah. It doesn't matter. I mean, but it's it's up to them to kind of choose. Let's see. Um, Booble. Of course, Booble. Because he's handsome. <laughs> and plus, if you've got the Marauder Fortress, you're going to get more cash as Ooh. you go and wander around. That's another the, good point, too. Region. Yeah. Okay, so I think out of those four is Are we probably... Check them all out? Oh, really? We can only do four? Oh, no, we can do way more than four. I'm just like... Oh, wow. The damn is pretty cool. He is cool. I've just wanted to stick with people that we all kind of like, had a relationship with. All right. People are some, some people are asking for to see all the options. Some people are already starting to vote on who they want. Oh, just, all right. We'll, we'll check them all. Why not? Yeah, well, we can check them all. Machine. This is a cool fortress. I'm just going to put machine in there if people yep. just want to do a machine. I don't really know who the Narug thinker. the thinker is. He's a thinker. That's You kind of want that in an overlord. I guess that's a good a point. Thinking. I prefer more of a knower, though. <sighs> I knew it. I like a feel. A feel. <laughs> and a warmonger. Well, that's a good one, too. Okay. We just have warmonger. Right. So, anyway. okay, so out of that, everybody, I selected Feral, Skak, Retack, Booble, and a Machine option. <laughs> That's how we're going to do that. It's not necessarily That's very, not very consi consistent. Oh, schema. no, it's not at all. Not at all. Yeah. But uh, we're going with that just simply because we want you guys to be able to vote on which ones. And I forgot some of the names. So, But let's go ahead and look at some of the guys, too, to see. Machine. I'm going to come back on screen. Ugh. I have a turn. Wow. So let's see. Right now, it's split pretty down the middle. Uh, machine and Feral are oh, currently the leading options. Uh, let's keep looking at some of them just so people can be reminded. I mean, if we kill this guy, though, uh, we get an epic weapon, so that's fun. And plus, he's awesome. Oh, God, he's really cool. I really like that guy because he looks good. Um, Feral is currently... I mean, Skak is pretty sick, too, with the cursed weapons and the mystic. Like, that's awesome as well. Uh, Feral is still in the lead. Machine is following closely. Google and Skak are low. This is the machine guy. That's it. See, he's, he's an awesome fortress, but 
And he, I like the like single sword look, but compared to everybody else, he's a little bit less. He can grow into it. Yeah, he can grow into it. He's one of those growing into that yeah. guys. Uh, Feral's still in the lead, pretty high. The Marauder, I love the way the Marauder ones look. They look really good. It's because this guy's so cool. Yeah, he's he just is cool. Okay, I think that's the one that everybody's going. 40% still. Go with the one that... Throw the dinosaur says, go with the one that nobody wants. Shake it up. The principle of democracy. Exactly. Yeah. Oh, that's awesome. And our war chiefs get promoted too. Yeah, so those guys can move in. They can help defend the fortress. Uh, and then when we fight the defenses, of course, there's kind of the reverse of the assault. So we right. have to defend the victory points, take down the waves of right, right, incoming right. enemies. Oh, that's awesome. I'm going to equip that uh, yeah. dagger in honor of Og. Dagger of War. Hell yeah. And the Numenorean armor, just so people can see it, too. I think that's nice here. So now um, the Feral Tribe's in control of this. So on the left here... Uh, that's actually drake bait. So because they're so good at hunting and bringing down different creatures, they've actually brought down this drake that they're kind of carving little bits of jerky right. off. And if we shoot that, um, should we at any time, that's going to be bait. So should we bring a drake in and just take it out? Why not? All right. Drake's coming. Or fly it around. Yeah. Got a little, Why not? He got, should be attracted to that. Yeah, there he is. comes. So this is what you guys could have had over spiders. Um, but I mean, it's never too late. Never too late. I mean, so time-wise, it's been about um, forty minutes. Oh, so nice. Oh, oh yeah, they're all helping. Oh, there it is. We are flying. Drake time. Sauron's domain is now much smaller. Yay! <laughs> yeah, these are a nice way to get around. And we can also just get a nice little tour. That they have the um, the monument there. They've got made from all the bones. And then we can continue to upgrade this fortress as well so as you add more garrisons the tower and the keep are going right. to grow you have more war chiefs defending you have more upgrades available during the battle oh that's awesome all right put our dagger on yeah let's uh, show them the, oh, yeah. uh, the items right. too let's see that's some more bait there you can have two drinks <laughs> actually this one will be friendly then they can fight oh that sounds that's like fun <laughs> wow so uh we have to stick around the fortress, just yeah, yeah, as a, yeah. as a so reminder. There's friendly ones here. Okay. And, um, oh, can have the dagger really quick? Oh yeah, sure. let's, let's check out the legendary just stuff. I want to show them, like, because legendary sets are so interesting. Mm -hmm. Ooh, look at that. That's a good looking one. And the thing with the uh, legendary ones, not only is it going to uh, look like that, but as you upgrade them, mm -hmm. the legendary gear actually levels up. So right. it'll actually evolve um, even more in terms of how it looks and fits oh, in awesome. with the entire set. And a lot of the challenges around how to upgrade the legendary gear are around uh, challenges in the Nemesis system and building your army. So right. in this case, it's dominating an orc from the Warmonger tribe of uh -huh. level 40. So that's like a good goal for us in terms of leveling up, in terms of... Right. Tracking down a warmonger, and then um, so the I guess the way to end up with these legendary sets really involves hunting and tracking these particular types of orcs and classes and tribes. Oh, that's awesome! I want to take a moment to note 66. Did that say 66 percent chance of curse on quick throw? Stealth attacks yeah. light enemies on fire, but look at that wow. set bonus you will periodically explode. <laughs> yeah. It's like, what? <laughs> Italian's just like, sorry guys, I, I lit a fuse and it will never ever stop exploding. <laughs> just cheese. Yeah, okay. <laughs> oh yeah, he's still around. So they should fight. Yeah, that'll be cool. Let's, let's bring one in. So now we have the option, do we want to try to do another like hierarchy cycle so that people can see some of the other stuff? Sure. Um, or I mean, like, cool. That works. Let's bring in that other Drake. Two. Oh. Should we count it? Or did it just summon the, the other one originally too? I don't see anything on the mini map. Yeah. Oh no. Oh well. Oh. Alright. Oh. See, we got a uh we had a question which is why was there no speech for the overlord from Fargate Blood It? Because from the uh, the game, uh the first gameplay trailer that we showed, there is a speech from the overlord. So like, why is it tallying now? Oh, wait, oh, right. Just the um, order of events in which they're happening. So, okay. um, 
actually when you promote the overlords, sometimes uh -huh. they'll have the confirmation, but the actual flow of when you're capturing the fortress, we've mm -hmm. now moved that, so that's Talion and Celebrimbor giving that speech. And go. that puts you in the right spot so that you're there ready to jump down right. and kind of reoccupy your fortress as well. Oh, that's awesome. So, so that's just, just an example of how mm -hmm. things evolve during right. the course of development as we finish things and close things. I wish that other dragon turned up. Oh, yeah. well, he's out there somewhere. Okay, but in response to it, there's the other one, Arthur, yeah. flying around. Well, the fun thing is, so if you've got a dragon, mm -hmm. a drake, a, a, as part of your army when you're beginning, right. and then it's a feral fortress, so there's multiple ones there, right. and you can summon one, you can have like four, you know, or, or even more, I guess, in some cases, drakes flying around up there. It's oh, just that's awesome. Crazy. Okay, so with that, should we do a, a recycle and go ahead? And should sure. I pull out? Okay, so I'm going to switch to uh, hosts real quick as we do some magic in the background. So, but uh, go ahead and start pouring in some questions while we're kind of in this middle conversation point, just so that you guys have an opportunity to. Because I, we've been honestly missing a couple of your questions based off the fact that you've got to let Mike talk and got to let Ellie show her badassery and what we'll be doing here. But uh, now there's a moment for questioning. So why not? I, I did that really quick. <laughs> it's got so much practice. We did this in uh, Europe all the time. So it was definitely something of uh, just over and over again. We had the chance of practicing switching builds and back and forth. Someone, your shirt, multi pass is a common. Lily Dallas multi pass. Oh, yeah. Big bada boom. Big bada boom. <laughs> Actually, it's, uh, it's there again and ready to go. So uh, we can it's go ahead. going to be warmonger? It might not be. Okay, well. It might not be. Should, we, should I hide it for a second, just in case? Uh, I can hide it real quick. Yeah. Uh, oh, it's machine. Oh, it's machine. Okay, we're nice, good. Nice. nice. Sorry we, we don't need to hide it's it. It's all good. We know we're good. We're good. We, we talked about this yesterday. Sorry. Yeah. <laughs> That's okay. Um, but let me grab some questions too. Oh, yeah. Can someone show us big spiders? No. Uh, <laughs> biggest fortress in the game if the answer. No, that depends on you. You got to level up the fortress, actually. Yeah, so we saw that down the side as well. So that was uh, three war chiefs. So right. that's halfway there. So six is six. the largest yeah. we have. So it gets point. Better. Yeah, and plus those guys can then have their bodyguards in turn. So mm -hmm. um, it can get pretty intense. That's awesome. Uh, Real Warden was asking uh, Can orcs see the glaive? Which is a really interesting question. That's actually. I, I don't know that one. I think they they actually they definitely can see that manifestation because right. in the same way when we use the deadly specter <laughs> skill and things like that, so the last known right. position, they can be uh, drawn to inspect and investigate that stuff. Right, that makes sense. Uh, let's actually take out a war chief for this one, so that people can get a chance. Okay, to sure, actually. chance to weaken the fortress before yeah. we assault it. Oh, we should um, set a new bodyguard first. Ooh, as well. yeah, I, I can see that. Let's see. Jim oh, wow. Jamma, can overlords find out your spies are and kill them, even if they're not actually spies? <laughs> yes, actually, both those things, absolutely. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. In fact, when I was testing this yesterday, I had a spy, came out, oh, killed him, good. and uh, there's some great, great, great like conversation between our orcs and us when it's just like, we didn't have a spy. <laughs> like, yeah. It's hilarious. Yeah, yeah. They're pretty paranoid. Oh, the Karagor Tamer. That's a good one. So he's also um, a beast master, but different tribe. Uh -huh. And he's got a Karagor pack with him, so that's pretty Ooh, that's epic. nice, yeah. I see a question from Forden, which was, what difficulty are we on? We're on normal right now. It's uh, also, Ellie's fantastic. So if you guys read any of the uh, press follow-ups that we did from the last couple weeks, a lot of them talked about how difficult it was, because mm. it is very difficult if you're not Ellie. So. Well, <laughs> yeah, that's true. No, I, 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 up, I'm definitely building um, it up. It's, it's totally, yeah, go ahead. <laughs> the, and, and we do have easy mode as well. Yes, we do so have easy mode. So that's the thing. Last time we didn't have difficulty modes. Mm -hmm. This time we've got in both directions. Ooh, so hard is game. genuinely hard. Normal is challenging. Right. And you get some, and of course, a Fort Assault is going to be one of the largest, most crazy, chaotic oh, yeah. uh, cases of all. So just dropping somebody into the middle of that is it's going to make it hard. super hard. And, I mean, um, and, on, and on top of that, too, one of the things, uh, a lot of the guys that I worked with were able to be their overlords mm -hmm. because we had strategies that we were able to encourage them to use. The game can be extremely hard if you ignore the weaknesses, mm -hmm. or it can be you know, oh, very can intelligent. Can I answer that one? Go yes, for it. Yes. Um, will we see larger battles outside fortresses? Uh, we do actually have some big pitched battles out in the open as well, so mm. that's pretty cool. That's a good one. I love how, what's his uh, bonus traits? I'm very, we have a legendary on our team. Oh, great strength. So that's uh, enormous yeah. damage with that oh, weapon. Fanatical gang and, with warriors. Uh, yeah, awesome. fanatical gangs are fun because if you attack him, they're going to become enraged. When oh, they're enraged, cool. they're going to do more damage, they're yeah. going to attack more aggressively, unblockable attacks. 
He's pretty awesome. This is the I, I love Wild commanders Spurs. as bodyguards because they just bring so much with them. Yeah. And marauders are one of my marauder favorites. with the hail of bolts. So the twin. Bam, 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 bam. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Oh. I think we need this guy. Yeah, I, let's, I would like this guy the as a legend. bodyguard if possible. The, the legend. legend, and of course, he's legendary. Yeah. So if the worst should come to pass, and he should die in your service, you're going to get some cool Sweet. shit. Yeah. Oh yeah, that's awesome. Uh, and so now we have to choose which war chief to take down. We've got Lorne the Haunted, mm. Cursed, and Mystic. Uh, also a commander. Right. But vulnerable Sick. to poison. So that's your mighty shot, right? Mm -hmm. Yep, Venom. Mm -hmm. okay. Venom mighty shot. So you can apply different augments to your abilities. Uh, mighty shot's one of the ones where you can do poison, ice, or fire. And we I happen to know that Ellie's setup has poison on it. So mighty shot, take this guy, make him sick. He's and cursed, though. Which yeah, that's dangerous. Make my bow difficult to use. If he hits you, though. Yeah. I mean, you and also the Elven Wrath curse will drain that out. Yep. Oh. Well. oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, I actually did not know that word. It's pretty dangerous. Confu Can't confused haberdasher is asking you not to kill this one. Actually, Aww, well, you can we'll always we'll dominate we'll him. Guy. That works too. Yeah, yeah. that's true. We'll we'll trickster. Yeah, these guys. Yeah. Can summon our Kyrgor. Yeah, Ooh, that's, that's cool. Nice. That's a good one. And so, flammable. Yeah. Oh, that, oh, that's a match these are, made in heaven. These are easy pickings. Guys. Yeah. So this is actually an example of how they can be a little bit easier for assault. Because our last one, we didn't have guys who had these weaknesses we could exploit mm -hmm. as easily. This is this one they have a little bit more exploitable. Versus the opposite may be true with our Overlord, who has a, like no exploitable weaknesses. Actually, I saw just a question previously. Someone was asking the special weapons or yeah. attack from the um, Warmonger tribe, and it's these gauntlets. So they can actually use these big gauntlets to actually lock your weapon in place um, when you're in combat as well. Oh man, that's awesome. And that's a struggle. Mm -hmm. Arrowproof, though. So we have. Ooh, that's oh, a tough one. Frostproof. So we have about. Um, 20-ish minutes. Okay. So we can we can rush a fortress assault. You're cheating the time again, aren't you? Let's do that. Uh, I'm not cheating any time. Really? I yeah. thought it was two. two. Okay. <laughs> it's uh because we we started a little late. Okay. And we have we have an hour of gameplay we're allowed to share. Ah. Oh, not an hour I of see. stream. An hour of gameplay. Right. right. What do you What do we do? Um. So we can. Pour all, all these. This is totally unknown. There's the the mystery war chief. Right. Yeah. So, are, is their item quality better than legendary? Freddy 9088? That's the top. Legendary is the top. Mm -hmm. But there is in the sense that once you've got legendary, you can continue to upgrade the right. levels of it as well. So. Oh, that's awesome. Let's actually pull out uh, a war, uh, war chief. Oh, serpent. So, track this guy down? Sure. Okay. Let's do it. He's got one, two, three, four bodyguards. That's going to be good. That's oh, perfect. Man. That's a perfect my one. Day, Make it hard. My day has come. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, yeah. and he's hanging out right near the fortress here, so it's perfect. cool. It's a trap. Darken the Necromancer. For those upgrades at the beginning, do you only get them for one battle, or do they stay? Uh, they stay, mm -hmm. So, and then you can choose between them as you unlock more right. of them. So there you go. They do only stay for that one this region. This chief believes he has us where he wants us. Let us show him the error of his way. Oh, okay. trigger trap. I love it. So it's a trap. We know it's a trap. <laughs> see. Notice that some Uruks had bars above their heads in the army screen. Okay. Centaur owns. I, you might be referring to the ones where as you move time forward, so like if you die or if you do a oh, mission, yes. that's them going through missions. Uh, or missions. Yeah, so they're on a mission in right. the world. They could be hunting or proving themselves or in the fight pit or throwing a feast. Mm -hmm. um, and as time passes, basically those missions get resolved right. automatically. Um, last time in Shadow Mordor, every time time passed, we resolved every mission, but now some of them have uh, an amount of time that oh. they take. There you go. <laughs> what was that? It's like Crush it. Crush it, yeah. That was, uh, oh, uh, that was, that was a the Crusher. So even though this isn't the assault, we've still got to infiltrate the fortress. Oh, there's a that worm. That's probably handy to learn about that other. Yeah, I can see that. <laughs> a bunch of people are asking us to unlock the skill above. Oh yeah, we did have a skill. Oh, so no. we can actually <laughs> getting the strengths and weaknesses of one of his oh, body or, or of one of the bodyguards we're about to face now Let's could see. be handy. Do it either way you want I think to. We have intel. What is the oh no, but the bodyguards are going to be here too. Mistigan seventy three asks, "What is the biggest Staff. enemy in the game?" I mean, do you think that's like the Sauron? Ball? Sauron? Is yeah. that the Balrog? I mean, height wise, we're, we're talking about height. Oh, straight up height. Straight up Bell, height, like Bell size. Run. Yeah, not like oomph. 
Right. Like phys yeah. Physical, if I put one in a room, it's which a, one would limit the yeah. volume of water when, I could fill in afterward? When his Mimi was drawing little lines on yeah. the wall to monitor his growth, Aww. Sauron was the... Sauron was the... No, Balrog. <laughs> He's very That's sensitive about it, too. Yeah, I can understand that. Uh, let's see. Can we convert overlords without fighting them? Ask Lokik. Convert. So you have to break down an overlord first. Yes. Because it's like a normal orc. Yep. So I think actually the answer is no to what you're asking, but uh, you can dominate an overlord. Like as, as Ellie showed, she had the option to recruit, shame, or fight to the death, and we just chose to kill the guy so we get the cool blade. Statue there. Did you want to just uh, maybe uh, unlock the, another skill? So we get rid of that. So wow. Is that a singer? Oh, it's a. S okay. If, if, if it's a singer, you guys. Okay. Oh, okay. oh Never mind. no. Sorry. It lied. It lied. Right. This is a pre release. This is pre release. Let me just check this guy again real quick. Oh, really? Terrified of Caragor is right. gold. Okay, right. Is that a pirate? It's. Hey. And. You just happen to have a Caragor. Caragor. Now, isn't, your, um, isn't, that, isn't the bodyguard mounted as well? He is. Uh, up there is! <laughs> Come on, buddy. Recruit yeah, Snafu. We're together. And then he's gonna run. Oh, and then he's terrified. <laughs> oh, you know what I want to do. Actually, oh, my backside go. will be the last thing you see. As I flee in the oh, you want to take him over? Yeah, of course. Oh, nice. So okay, Ellie's works. using the Shadow Dominate whenever she's doing that. That's my favorite. Right, that's a really high level skill. Yep. So, shame. Take oh, take him. He's got a lot of body parts. Oh, that's Strategy, true. Jared. Strat. But isn't he gonna run away immediately now because his character is around him? Uh, yeah, he's gonna oh. take. Him. Oh no! But I completely so he's recruited. Right. He's yeah. yeah come back, whoa, whoa. but these guys are still here. Oh, why is the more <laughs> scared? <laughs> There's a lot going. Whoa! <laughs> oh no! Oh, he's a poet. Ah. Oh, he's terrified too. And there he oh, goes. Oh, it's because he's um. They're all running. They're all reaching I wonder okay. what they all were scared of. Get this guy on your side. Oh. I think it's the war chief being killed. They uh, decided that was a good time to break and run. We oh, fight man. another day. I can see that. No. Oh, oh. Hey. and Kitty. And see, not sure if you already answered this, but can you make everyone on your side except the leader? Laser game, you can make all the war chiefs and captains on your side except the overlord, yeah. And except some that some are unbreakable. And some have iron will, right. which means that they're uh, never going to work for you. Right, right. Oh, you did bail oh. fire! Oh man. That Karagor is going to move up through the army. Oh, let him kill me! Let him kill me! Okay. Oh, except no one gets promoted. Oh, the Karagor gets promoted. He becomes the overlord <laughs> of the region. <laughs> oh man. Rawr. That would honestly be one of my favorite <laughs> features to one day do for like an April uh, It was there, it was there. Oh, so now, Ooh, time serpent. moves forward. All right. These guys get to level up. Did he just fall off? He oh, did. He did. Oh. oh, man. That's sad. I got died. But the good thing, if uh, we have the time to go back and conquer the fortress, huh? is it's now going to be easier because one of the war chiefs we took has out, been yeah. eliminated, as well as removing all of those bodyguards that he right. had from the defense awesome. as well. We have three minutes. Do you want to just charge and go for it? Go! Go, Ellie, go! <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. I mean, technically, we had a break in the middle of it to let Andy out. And then, so, uh, and then, and then also during that, there was a couple times we had to stop for the vote. So, um... Go, 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 yeah. and uh, do Zappers, uh, do the yeah. Drake or War Grog this time. Savages. This is this is full. Everybody in chat, chant, go. People say the more you chat, the faster it will happen. I swear. The best form of attack is defense, but really the best form of attack is definitely <laughs> attack. I mean, in the, <laughs> technically, that's my personal. Yeah. There's just there you go. Go, go. Attack. <laughs> we got lots of goes go, in go, chat. Go, go. Perfect. Oh. Tell you, walk faster. <laughs> Oh, that's gonna be sick. I love the machine for it. It's a good looking one. It's like the cover of Pink Floyd's Animals. 
I haven't seen that cover. It's the Battersea Power Station in London. Oh, that's awesome. You call uh, that an army? Don't make me laugh! That's a bummer. You couldn't take over a privy! It's Much okay. Less this fall. Okay. Bugs are not okay. <laughs> Sorry, Lord. Don't talk cool. over him. I'm talking over him. He's saying the same thing the other guy here. The fattest is in this fortress. Okay. Bug. Ah, he's saying something glory, different. But the thing is, in the game, by the time you reach Soon this point, you right, it would have been because you built Soon up a particular story, you, right, you had a stable story, them. and he would be able to speak to those things. Very true. We are eager and ready, bright lord. Remember this. Machines tend to break down. When you're jamming an ox head in between their gears! <laughs> Jesus! <laughs> That's a great so comment. That's a, yeah. So, I mean, one of the things about this is this is a, you know, pre, like, we're in alpha still, or pre-release kind of thing, so it's like, this is what we have, you guys get to see some of the development. That was dope. Yeah. yeah. Dude, I love that line, it's like, jam heads, no, orcs head in that. There's our oh, ground! There he goes! Oh, there we go. How about him? He doesn't want you he's on him yet. For that. He's attacking that wall. He's bashing the wall. It's pretty cool. Do you think that that's why he, he can actually breach that wall as well, potentially? Oh yeah. But now you're gonna just climb over. He's been trained to break walls, but no. Yeah, I think he's gotta break the wall. Really? Oh, he doesn't let you. Yeah. Busy. He has. Uh, oh, there we go. Not too busy. Woo! Look at that sap. Oh, sap has blew the gate as well. Oh, that's awesome. Nice. That's the way. Oh, and so we can see, look, the guys are here that the point's already half captured, so right. taking that time to break it down, take out the war chiefs ahead of time, assassinate it, even infiltrate spies, um, can just make a huge difference. Oh, that's so awesome. Go, go, capture! <laughs> Alright, so we're going to don't, don't have enough time, just go. So let's see, so official time-wise, um, let's see that. Okay, I know the official time-wise still. All right, we might not have time for the Overlord fight. We might want to get into the All right. points. Oh, oh I love it when you bail speed fire. things up, yep. And so, bail fire is the combination. It combines all the uh, effects of poison and right. fire. So if you've got a poison barrel and incinerate it, you get the bail fire. Oh, man. Oh, go, go, go! <laughs> <laughs> you overstepped your bounds. This sport will stand against you. Save the talk for after the slaughter! <laughs> She's already oh, broken. He wants to join your army. There you go. Join the army of the bright lord. Fly, you fools. Thanks, pizza guy. This is how you speed run a fort. Oh, this guy is oh, ready, this guy is ready to go. Again. Quickly. Yeah, it just really shows the difference of taking out that war chief ahead of time. Yeah, that made a huge difference. Oh, yeah, so fast. Yeah, I will set the break on. I mean, and, then and of course you can go totally the other way if you haven't prepared, not bring you guys, and there's six enemies, they can just be astronomically challenging as well. Well, absolutely. How do you fail an assault? Or are you dying or also other failure states? Listen it's, to it? It's dying. Yeah. It's dying. So, I, theoretically, you could capture this assault on your own, but um, it's just going to be incredibly difficult to be able to occupy and take the various victory points and right. clear out the enemies. It makes an enormous difference having your uh, followers. Well, absolutely. And plus, dying is not an uncommon occurrence. No, it's, it's pretty common. Will you be able to see overlords or war chiefs in the? Oh. Did you really think I'd leave you be and let you run amok? Gonna chop you into pieces, then find a use for each one. I hate waste. I don't want to hear you lot yabbering on. I want to hear this man feel screaming. Jeez. Uh, man, that guy's awesome. Yeah, they're tricksters. Oh, but did you see? Four, <laughs> taking him out. Close, Ellie. Uh oh. Oh no. Die, die or live. Oh, live. Gotcha. <laughs> That's the the machine chain that I can actually use that. Oh no. Oh. oh. Okay, you can 
capture this point too. Yes. Okay. Ooh, you got it. <laughs> well Woo! done. Uh, thank you. Thank quick. you. <laughs> go, 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 okay. quick. Overload. All right. Oh, look at this guy, though. Sure, make oh, him. Oh, look, he surrendered. This guy surrendered. Uh, He's no, broken. Really High five him in the face. I gotta get him. <laughs> Just pick out the maggots. You, uh, well, you also dominate every single maggot. He, he's not quite up. He doesn't, he doesn't look good. He's not gonna fit. Oh, oh, I love the, the discussion about it, but we do have under five minutes. Go, go, go. All right, we have, so everybody, just start telling us, do you want us to kill Overlord? Do you want us to, uh, and I'm not gonna set up a vote thing, because it's gonna take too long. Kill, do we shame the Overlord? Do we dominate the Overlord? Can you lose a fortress after you capture one? Yes, you can. There you go. And then, of course, your goal becomes to recapture it and get vengeance on the bastard who took it from you. Oh, we didn't even look at this, guys. Uh, Good luck. <laughs> you should do it right now. Yeah, we'll, we'll check. Well, Actually, you've made a mess out there. You can identify him now. I don't think you appreciate how much work I do. Putting together fort defenses, getting my boys trained up. It's stressful being overlooked. <laughs> don't fret. After today, your worries will be over. Wow. <laughs> That's a good, good comeback. I'm liking the comeback. He, he really he goes home each yeah. day. He has them all listed out. They're he all ready. In the mirror. He looks yeah. in the mirror. Watches a bunch of old 007 films. Yeah. Yeah. Actually, if you do, for chance, die here, we'll get to show the uh, unfinished business, which is up here as well. I mean, so, do you want to check out what his uh, inabilities are or things we can find out on the fly, Jared? Oh, okay. Here we go, on the fly. <laughs> Don't forget oh. your bodyguard. Oh, do I have one? Yeah. You might have to hit it one more time, though. Yeah. Oh, no. oh, there oh there's there one. All right, oh, there, there he is. is. There's the yeah. bodyguard. Help us, bodyguard. You're our only oh, hope. Yeah. Okay, this is a little tough. Uh, <laughs> Find the oh, feast fodder. Okay. Bring Karagor. Brutality. So brutality, brutal attacks are like brutal stealth kills. Or if you get your mic bar and you charge it up to a level two, they'll do particularly vicious executions that don't just kill the guy you're fighting, right. but also terrify. <coughs> oh, and smells. There you go. Oh, 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 what the heck? Uh, yeah, I thought he was that, that was beast fodder. He's, he was beast fodder. Uh, well, your uh, your bodyguard's also dead. Oh, uh, what? No, what? Dead? This yeah, is, guys. Oh, the character oh, is still around. Guys. Oh, we can even get the show. No. Oh. Go away. Save. Oh man. Oh, oh. oh. holy crap! <laughs> What, but he's not terrified of retreating. No, no, no. He's just, he's just like, he's just like, he's just like, I'm tired of this. Yeah. Oh, oh, he's hiding. It's not gonna be Oh, no! Uh, we'll, we'll die. We'll die? There we go. Okay. But not oh. here, Gore. Come on. Uh, you, you, wanna, you wanna make someone new? Uh, I love so how we should make someone get Yeah, let's. It's here. Caragor will get some money, obviously. Come on. There we go. There it is, Olog. Are we gonna let the Olog take you out? Oh. Man tries to build a fort, man dies. No surprise. <laughs> He's a he poet, he rhymed. Yeah. Uh, okay, so technically it is now we just hit our time. So that's not too terrible, actually. We got pretty close. We can also wow, see how it progressed. So when we were talking about the bars above the heads of it, all the orcs out in the army screen, this is what they do when those bars go down. They continue and move forward with their attacks and things. Resolve their mission. So the thing is now, because Ellie uh, had made it all the way through the fort assault and right. made it to the Overlord, there is now a mission which is unfinished business. So mm -hmm. you don't actually have to fight your way back through the entire fortress right. at this point. You can go directly and face the Overlord again. Mm -hmm. But if time passes again, then new war chiefs are going to be promoted and filled right. in, and you will, in fact, need to assault the fort. But um, if you go straight back at it, you can have another chance to, to take down the Overlord. But not today. Oh. Not today. 
It's uh, do you want to have a, the overlord talk, but then do the ultimate tease, and then we'll stop it after the overlord's talking, just so they can hear what the overlord says. All right, yeah, because he is going to be proud of himself. Right, he's going to have a, a comment to say. Yeah. And then, uh, so you guys can see how it works when you just go straight back up to the Overlord. And, um... A little dark. Is it Katie's electricity bill? <laughs> Why are you back? I already defeated you once! Are you a slow learner or something? Oh, I love it. He is the thinker. All right, so uh, once uh, we have the chance, we'll hit start and um, give you guys the uh, the ultimate tease because we have, we're supposed to stop. Yep. So That's it. leave it there until next leave time. It there until next time. Shadow of War is an epic third-person open-world action RPG and the sequel to the award-winning Shadow of Mordor. This walkthrough takes place many hours into the game, where we will show you one example of the epic personal stories created through the next generation of the revolutionary Nemesis system. To save Middle-earth, we will be journeying deep behind enemy lines and using the new Ring of Power to forge an army and conquer Mordor from within. On the world map, we see the many regions we can conquer. Every one of these regions is a distinct environment with unique enemies and allies, including overlords, war chiefs, captains, followers, fortresses, strongholds, missions, and more. Today, we're going to attack and conquer the mountain valley of Saragost, and take it from Sauron's overlord, Ur-Hakon, the Dragon Lord. Let's launch the assault. It's not only our enemies and the world that make the Nemesis system unique. It's also our followers. Rag Dug the Iron Mount has armored cavalry that can charge through the flames of artillery fire. The Demolisher is a living battering ram with the power to smash enemy defenses. With our followers at our side, we must first face the Stormbringer. The Bright Lord. I fought for you, bled for you, and you left me to die. But I was reborn with the power of the Dark Lord. He has a history and personal grudge against us. He used to be part of our army before he betrayed us and joined the Dark Lord. He also carries a dark curse which prevents us from using the power of the new ring. Come, charge into the flames of your reckoning. The Overlord has deployed multiple fort defenses, including siege beasts and flame archers. No more talk. We bring war. Our 
first objective will be to break through the main gate. Stormbringer defeated, we've broken the curse and can unleash our power as the Demolisher breaches the gate, allowing our army to storm the fort. <laughs> many ways to conquer a fort, from open combat to stealth and infiltration. We've infiltrated a spy within the enemy ranks. Deadeye has placed explosives, allowing us to sabotage the wall and outflank the defenders. also able to help clear the way by sniping enemies. In Shadow of Mordor, the Nemesis system created memorable stories of bloodshed and revenge. In Shadow of War, your followers can create entirely new stories of loyalty, betrayal, rivalry, and even friendship. Thanks, Deadeye. Nice shot. We've expanded the RPG systems in Shadow of War enormously. Defeating Stormbringer allows us to collect this epic armor of Rohan and equip it. Stolen my tail! 
<laughs> it's time to dance! <laughs> <laughs> Mounting armored cavalry allows us to ride through these flames unharmed. Releasing and dominating the Drake lets us turn the Overlord's defenses against him. Terrified the flame of war, now bend him to your will. The ring of power allows us to dominate the minds of our enemies, I am compelling them to join our growing army. Now, with the power of the new ring and the help of our followers, we've defeated the war chiefs. we can face our ultimate nemesis in this fort, the Dragon Lord himself. It is time to take what is ours. With the Nemesis system, every Overlord faced by every player will be unique to their world, and the throne room itself has been customized by the Overlord as his personal combat arena. <laughs> it's the Lord of Mordor himself. The Grave Walker. You've made a right mess, haven't you? My army slain. My Drake dead. So much pain. Well, I know a thing or two about pain. And yours? It's going to burn a hole into this world.
Overlord defeated, Fort Saragost and this region of Mordor are ours. Conquering the region rewards us with experience, loot, new followers and resources. It also creates a personal base from which we train our forces, increase our power and upgrade our defenses against Sauron's counterattacks. Let's return to the army screen where we can review our enemies and command our followers. We need to select one to become the new overlord so he can spread his influence throughout the region, creating an entirely original nemesis fortress. This war chief is a necromancer. He will shroud the fort in sorcery to confuse and terrify attackers. This war chief is a beastmaster. He will allow us to turn the creatures of Mordor against our enemies. But we're going to promote Rag Dug, the war chief who charged through that artillery assault and helped us bring down Ord Hakon, the Dragon Lord. As a marauder, he can loot and pillage the region for us. With our new overlord in place, we can upgrade the fortress, increasing its defenses and enlarging the size and power of our army. The Nemesis system means that every element of this mission was dynamic and unique. No two players of the game will experience the same story. We will spread his power! This was just one step in our conquest of Mordor. One small example of the millions of unique stories players will create in Middle-earth Shadow of War. Lord. The world of men is ending. together in death, crafted the one thing that could challenge Sauron, a ring of power. But power can blind those who seek it. The great deceiver has returned to Middle-earth to rebuild his armies. To rule all. The corruption will be contained no longer. The war for Mordor. Begin.
bright lord. 